Chapter 13 Roughly a year later, the orcs and Felgen have founded a kingdom of their own in Fendragle, its siege engines strewn about and red dragon whelplings everywhere. They finally have a place of their own, them and the orcs. Dane sits upon the throne where Hagarro handles dealings with the Tempest Guild. Mere zombies living as a refugee in Drell still, assuming a fake name, along with Renault. She wears a slightly ornate hood with, and robe. He looks as he always did before. Norman and Danon meet in the High Post, now live there, spreading the history of their witch hunter bloodline through stories of old. Lancaster and the other Tempest Guild mages got to Burial Cove, but found nothing but corpses. It was like Ebony Tower all over again. For Lancaster, Obsidian, the one responsible for the murder of Danon and Norman's parents, goes free and escapes the chaos of the conflict between Darkens and Slavers and the, and the Ethanites. <coughs> Norman still hunts him to this day. Creon Sampson visited the elves in the name of Escadia City but was turned down. The elves had a war pact from long ago with Escadia City but felt it was not necessary to help now that the city had f been fully rebuilt. They did, however, promise to come to their aid if, they need, if the need arose. Again, the orcs and Felgen freed Mirasami's mother from prison in Fendragle, for even orcs can show mercy. She lived among the Felgen for many years and became wife of Hegavro. Mirasami, still fake hers, lived with Renault and Drell, leaving her former royalty in name behind her. Samson returned to his tribe, him teaching his tribe the ways of the world and them teaching him the ways he forgot. The Felgens renamed Fendragle to Sor Topa, after Sora, the first one who created the Felgen relic. She was a Felgen priestess of the First Age. The few dragons roaming the land of Escadia met in Escadia City with permission from the council there. Upon its outskirts, a handful of elected to stay as most would return to the Tempest, for they tired of the sword already after so long. They would act in accord with the elves of the old in Treetop Point. The council in Escadia made a pact with the elves to fight for the for the fight and give them back all the land the orcs stole from them. In exchange, the elves would command the would command the staying dragons to guard the city. These few green dragons developed a good relationship with the humans of Escadia City, in no small part since they can speak the common tongue of man. Denon was schooled in the ways of the witch hunter by Norman, and they search for obsidian when time and weather permits. Otherwise, they can be found at their home in High Post. The shadow of the dark wizard Darkin still looms over the city. Later, Princess Mirasami went to live with the elves as the fake curse was sacred to them, and only them. She could live in a beautiful land free from her cares. A messenger from Escadia City came to Samson, recruiting him as the dragon guard of Escadia City. He gladly accepted the job and left his tribe yet again. In the end, not much was lost, but nothing was won either, except maybe a sense of adventure long endured. And for, a de and for a decade, things go on as they should, and would any other way. As there rumors, until rumors of a strange cult surfacing in the frozen north rises to ears to be heard. In the frozen north rises. In the f in the frozen north fortress tower of Ajara Kriya Morvund, the remains of the only dwarven building on the surface of the world, for dwarves along with the dragons live deep. It rumored to be not so vacant anymore. It served as the entrance to the habitation deep within, but has been since sealed by war and time. The dwarves have not resurfaced in hundreds of years. No one knows why or seems to care much, but it is thought that they found something deep within the world that keeps them down there. Dwarves live in the deep world, a place of strange creatures forgotten by men, a place of lava and rock, darkness and heat. As legend tells, the dwarves with their king Creab lived in the first period of the world when it was frozen and dragons ruled the surface and battled one another for territory and spite. Fomog was one was the one responsible for freezing the world to what it was. Few humans existed in this time. There were only nomadic barbarians. The dwarves, slightly larger in number than the nomadic humans, lived in a Jericria of Morvund, which in their tongue meant meant to delve. In this age, there was no wealth but a, bar, a, a 
but a bartering system. The humans found out about the dwarves and the wonders they found deep within a Jericho Marvond. They were hardly united in any way, but seek to forge an alliance with the dwarves of the Northern Spire. Most history of what had gone so horribly wrong between the human nomads and the dwarves is lost to history, but even outnumbered, the humans defeated the dwarves, leaving all their gains behind in the Tower Spire, then retreated into the Deep World, as their king Kriev had a vision that one day the dragons of the Deep would revenge them and their fallen brothers and sisters. The ages came and went, and the dwarves passed out of history books. Now, a power of old has taken shape in the Jericho of Morbond.